scouring a dingy field looking for treasure. Paul Nunn goes metal detecting every weekend. His hobby turns up all sorts of mysterious items, but he didn't expect to discover a piece of wartime history. This 1914-1915 star was found buried six inches underground in a field at Burr Apton. It may look like a weather-beaten piece of metal, but it is also the introduction to a remarkable story of courage and heartbreak. On the back of the medal is actually the gentleman's service number. Um, so you can actually find that out online. Um, find out his name, which is Thomas W. Copeman. And then from there, my lovely wife and her friends have put their research in to finding out who he was, his um, sons, um, family, and we're hoping to now obviously trace what family is left. From their home at Thorpe Marriott, Paul and his wife Kirsty have enlisted the help of friends to dig into Private Copeman's First World War service record. They discovered that he fought in France before being medically discharged in 1917. He's thought to have died in 1924, aged 56. Two of his sons also died while serving with the Norfolk Regiment in 1916. Paul and Kirsty are now desperate to reunite the medal with the soldier's family and they've started a blog to document their findings. Well, the first step was just looking to, um, we just researched to find out what it, what it actually was. Um, that's when we found out it was the service medal and then we found out what the markings were on the back because you can f vaguely see them and we found out that that was his regiment number which we did a search and managed to find out what his name was but then that's where the search ran dry. We'd like to have it, um, if we can trace the relatives by the centenary for next year, then, you know, that would be that would be the icing on the cake, definitely. Paul is now preparing his equipment for more metal detecting, but it's a different sort of search that is now underway, a search to reunite a family with a piece of its history. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, Thorpe Marriott.